Me? A vegan? Really? No, that can't be true. How did I become a vegan? How did Mauritius make me a vegan? Actually, to be completely transparent, I'm not an actual vegan. It just seems like everything I eat here in Mauritius is vegan. The truth is, I love Mauritian street food. And you don't get much more street foodie than that. These are gato pimar and some bhajis and a potato deep fried thing. Okay, so as you can see, the meat here is actually in a separate container. And then this is the actual halim, which is my favorite wow, in winter. Again, Bob. And then of course greenery on top. And there you go. Beautiful halim and you got the side. Okay, so this is a classic roti. Completely vegan. And there you go, that's simple. I just got my roti from this guy behind me. And I suppose this is why I eat so many of them because, well, it's really easy to get, it's really cheap. And I get to sit on this bench with that view. That is my roti eating view. Two or three of those for breakfast and that'll get you going. Maybe grab a gato pima at the same time. Have a look at this, it's a motorbike full of vegetables. Thanks to these guys. I've just become a little bit more vegan because they managed to sell me my favorite passion fruit. This is a biryani seller and you'll see this quite often where it actually has veg biryani. So you see even at a place like this you get the veg option and it's always, almost always, vegan. This behind me is actually Eat With Fingers, the number one vegan restaurant in Mauritius. Would you believe right here? It's for takeaway only but there's some of the tables, and I'll show you the, the beautiful floor, and of course, the backboard, where it actually says Beyond Burgers and Cauliflower Wings. Wow, that sounds so interesting. And of course, brownies. I'm actually gonna have to make a plan to come here and try Cauliflower Wings. Of course, how awesome is this waiting area? So really guys, come get a takeaway from here. When you're feeling you're vegan, come here. Of course, the best place to actually get uh, vegan food is at a Hindu wedding. Uh, I'm going to put up some pictures here that you can see some of the seven curries, which is absolutely fantastic. And maybe a few little pictures of uh, how awesome Ricky looks in a sari and sort of how awkward I look in a tie. But anyway, the best place to get it is from a Hindu wedding. Wow, how beautiful is this? I'm not saying that Mauritius is going to turn you into vegan or that you can't get meat because that's not true. You can get meat almost anywhere. But it makes it very, very easy for vegans to come here because a lot of the food actually, actually is vegan. You don't have to struggle to try and find food. Like I spent some time in Croatia. <laughs> Let me tell you this story. I went to a restaurant and they had a, a vegetarian soup. It's a, a classic dish from Slavonsky region, which had all fresh herbs and locally produced from the region. And I thought, wow, I'll give this a try. It came, it had these little pork pieces in it. So I called the waiter over and asked, is this vegetarian? He said, yes. I said, but there's pork in it. He said, yes. And I, I stood there with my mouth open for a while going, until he walked away. And there, it's not easy to be vegan, but in Mauritius, they have really made it easy. The street foods are vegan. They've got the number one vegan restaurant in Mauritius. In Mauritius. <laughs> and of course, get yourself invited to a Hindu wedding. What could be better? I do still eat meat, but you know, about 75% of my dishes now are actually vegan. Anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you next time.